So first of all, you're gonna need a tin to do this with. You know, this is just an old uh, mink oil tin. Poke a little bitty hole in that tin. Hey everybody, Steve here with Adventure Outdoors and today I am going to attempt my first try at making char cloth. A couple weeks ago I watched one of my favorite YouTubers, David's Passage. He made an excellent video on how to make char cloth. He used a, a little tin can and he cut up some denim blue jeans and he made char cloth. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to attempt to duplicate what he did probably won't be able to do it as good as David. His video was excellent. I understood everything, but I'm set up today and I'm going to try to duplicate exactly what David did and make my own char cloth today. Now David used an alcohol stove, a little homemade alcohol stove when he did his. I'm going to use my Silver Fire Scout stove, so I've got it all filled with sticks and everything that I grabbed out of the yard. And what I'm going to try to do here is I've got a cotton ball and I'm going to get some Vaseline smeared all over this thing and then I'm going to use this little Vaseline ball as my fire starter inside the Silver Fire Scout stove. Okay, now I've got all that ready. I'm gonna take my fire steel and see if I can throw a spark and get this thing going. There we go. That was quick. Now I've got the majority of the fuel in there, but what I like to do is start laying some small stuff that I know is going to catch fire really easy on top of the cotton ball to get everything going. One of the reasons I like the Silver Fire Scout so much is because there's always fuel. Wherever you can find sticks or leaves or anything like that, any they call it biomass, obviously it's organic. So there's fuel all around us. So once I have a good fire going, I'm going to get the pot holder set on top. Yeah, I just about burned myself, but I was a little too quick. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this Altoids can. I have a drill holding the top and I've got three pieces of denim on the inside. So let's see if I can get that balanced and let that thing start doing its job. It's gonna, basically, it's gonna burn all the oxygen inside the can. It's gonna burn off everything that isn't the denim. And that what it's gonna leave is the carbon. The, the denim will turn into a carbon and that will be my char cloth. Isn't that right, David? And what it's gonna do is it's gonna convert all the material in here into carbon. You can actually see the smoke start coming out through that hole in the top of the Altoids can. So that obviously means it is doing its job. Now as it burns, I'll continue to stoke the fire a little bit. I'll just drop some new twigs down into the openings just to keep the fire good and hot. Now the idea behind this is to, the hole in the top is to let everything out, but also to starve the oxygen inside. I'm noticing right now that I have a fire coming through the hole in the top, so 
as of right now, being the fact that this is the first time I've ever done this, I may have actually made the hole in the top of the Altoids can too large, but I won't know until everything's burned off and I can check the denim on the inside. I just don't know. Now, of course, all this activity will make a man thirsty. So I highly recommend going and grabbing one of your favorite craft brews. Okay, I think it's been on there long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and let this thing cool down a bit. And we'll know here in just a little while. Okay, it's time for the reveal. I've let this thing cool off for about 15 minutes or so. So the good thing is if you're actually watching this video, it means I was successful. And uh, if I fail, I will, I will just have to wait and determine if I'll publish this video. So let's see if I can get this can open. Well, well looky there. Let's get this, uh, this looks like paint and stuff like that from the inside. But it looks like my char cloth is actually successful. I put three pieces in there and there it is. Now that's pretty cool. Now David of David's Passage, you're the reason for this buddy and it really, I think it worked just perfect. Now the real test is I'm gonna see if I can throw a spark on it and see if it catches. So let me set up for that. Well, there it is. I see an ember. Let's see if I can throw some more sparks on it. But yeah, I definitely have embers on there. I'm not sure how well the video is going to show it. Okay, it's holding embers. Works. Those little sparks are part of my fire steel I think I scraped off in there when they're catching. But man, that is awesome. It's working perfect. It's holding the ember. Okay, y'all, I'm happy to report success with the char cloth and I did everything per the directions on David's Passage video. Now, I would like to thank David's Passage and of course I'm gonna put a link in the description below and David has one of my, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. I uh, always look forward to seeing new videos from him and a funny little story, not too long ago, one of my buddies sent me a email he said hey check this guy out on YouTube I really like him and when I clicked the link it was to David's uh, YouTube channel and I just <laughs> kind of laughed chuckled and sent it back I said dude you're way too late I've been subscribed to David's channel for a long time so uh, you're gonna want to check out David's channel he's just an avid outdoorsman and a uh, really nice guy and this is not the only time he's influenced what I do I've also purchased several other products based on David's reviews. So make sure you check them out. So that's it for me today. I'm looking forward to making some more char cloth now that I know this thing works. I was a little worried that my hole in my Altoids can was, uh, was a little too big, but hey, it worked perfect. So I'm Steve with Adventure Outdoors. I'll see all of you in my next video.